Hello everyone, my name's Ilir2 and welcome to my let's play of the best civilization game of all time. Yeah, Civilization 4, not Civ 5, not Civ 6. I freaking hate Civ 5. Man, today we even have the mod Caveman to Cosmos, the single best mod of any game ever created. Because it literally took five years to make. And that means it's amazing. So, what does it do? Well, better question, what the fuck doesn't it do? It changes everything. Makes the game last weeks. If you played it non-stop every single day. Non-stop from sunrise to sunset. It would take you weeks to complete a game. Because it starts you all the way back in 50,000 BC and lets you go all the way into the freaking future. And when I mean future, I don't mean like beyond the sword, like mechs. I'm talking about like way far in the future. It's terrifying how far it goes and how far it goes back and forward. It's amazing. So let's just begin the game here. And it's going to be a custom game, obviously. Custom games are the best. So um, let's see. Size. Yeah. So they added on a size of dual, tiny, small, standard, large, huge, gi giants, and gigantic. Do not do gigantic on an average computer. Do not, hell, don't even go beyond standard on your average computer, all right? Because they're, this, they add so much, it slows the game down. So in fact, I think I'm going to go small. No, oh, standard. Let's go standard. Yeah, that's plenty of AI. I'm not going to play a full game, by the way. This is just the fill in the gap we have. For that um, one o'clock spot. Uh, we're going to leave it at temperate. Sea level. Yeah, medium. We're going to be boring here. Now, okay, look at this. So they added prehistoric, ancient, class classical, medieval, renaissance, industrial, modern. And right in between here, right? That's the normal Civ 4. Including future, but not that far in the future. Now you have transhuman, galactic, and future. We're, of course, going to start in the prehistoric er era as... Um, you know, if you want to show off the whole mod, you want to start there. Um, okay, now, <laughs> speed they also changed. So, the quickest speed is normal. Trust me, do not go beyond marathon, or else it will take literal years for you to complete this uh, single game. It's amazing. Uh, world map, or world wrap, cylindrical, resources standard, and we'll do in Caveman to Cosmos, Continents. Uh, let's see, what do I have added onto here? So, no revolutions. Uh, no, let's shut that off. Uh, limited religions? Civilization cannot found a new religion when controlling... That's... I don't know. That's just unrealistic, right? No inquisitions? No, I like that. No barbarian civs. Again, they add so much crap. If you leave a barbarian, a barbarian city alone, it'll become its own civ, which is awesome. Usable mountains... They're no longer impassable and have some resources and can be worked by a city like all... Actually, yeah, let's have that. Surround and destroy. Yeah, surrounding enemy troops can give you a bonus. Advanced diplomacy, so you get embassies, trading military and worker units. I like that. Unlimited wonders, no. Barbarian generals. Barbarian, uh, barbarians can receive great generals now. Oh, cool. No zones of control. Oh, no. Final five, no. High to low. Ruthless AI, great commanders. Advanced economy, allow for a more in-depth and detail, detailed control of economic factors, especially trade. No, no, no. Religion decay. Cities with many religions may have less popular ones. Actually, I like that. Barbarians always raise. It doesn't make sense. Uh, just keep going down. Minimum city borders. Yeah, eight tiles around a city can never be conquered by a culture. I kind of like that. All right, so we will not have time as victory. Again, probably never even going to finish this game. So fucking long. So who will I be playing as well again? Oh, they added a lot of people. There's like every single civilization in history is freaking on here now. They even have like pirates and my favorite, Rub. The Neanderthals. The Neanderthals. It's, oh, it's so stupid and I love it that the Neanderthals can create their own civilization. Um, okay, so just FYI on the difficulty thing here. I'm... I don't want to say bad at the game. I love this game. But I've always played on settler mode. <laughs> because I just love conquering, destroying shit. I'm never going to play on Deity. I'm just going to play on... 
Prince, because that's normal mode, right? Yeah, it's in the middle. So it's going to play as Prince. I might not be the best. I might horribly fail. But you know what? Let's start. Oh, God. And, and trust... Oh, my God. This mod... If you haven't seen it, you need to play it. I'm, it's, it's changed. Even the, even the background music changed. Like, you know, you know that's a good mod when it changes the background music. Because everyone knows this game has the, had the best intro music ever. Uh, Air Force, yeah, if you lack oil, you might be in serious danger. Yeah, I mean, that's true for modern age, I guess. That would make sense. Now, hopefully... This isn't too slow now that I've lost the graphics card, my graphics card. It shouldn't be. I did do a test game of it. It's not that bad. All right, revise C2C, running with the following components. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I start off as Rub. This is what he looks like. Sunrise on the year 50, 50,000 BC. Since time immemorial, the Neanderthal people have lived in nomadic life. After years of wandering, they are now ready to settle down and found your first city. Technically, that's not exactly what happens. See? So, um, came out of Cosmos. Yeah, the mod is awesome. Just have fun. So, you start off, of course, with stone throwers. Not a warrior. A stone thrower. And a band of Homo sapiens. I guess technically not true. I mean, okay, I guess Neanderthals would be Homo sapien Neanderthalis. So, okay, we are a band of Neanderthals, I guess. And look at the sounds they make. Yeah, that's going to be annoying later on in the game. Um, should we try exploring? Any resources? I don't know. Right here just looks really good. You have floodplains and well, marshes. That's not good. And it's muddy up there. And you have some... Oh, that that's going to be a great area for production. Actually, I think I like this city right here. Yeah, you start with Atapuerca, which is their first city. And so, in the beginning, all you have to build is an alpha male and an alpha female. Yeah. Yeah, they changed this game a lot. Let's examine the city, see what's going on here. So, we start off with, obviously, a ton of sickness. That makes sense. It's 50,000 BC. And, um, yeah, a little bit of anger. Now, okay, so there's... Oh, it doesn't show us yet. Maybe we have to wait till next turn. I don't know. So, uh, we're going to start off with the alpha female she gives us more food two local stability bonus per turn in each city and negative two that is um not disease it's like sickness i guess you could say but the more of that you have the higher amount of sickness or disease you have in your city so you want to keep that as low as possible that what he gives you he gives you um production and he also decreases and that's how uh, what's crime so obviously crime is not good either uh, we can also build Brutes and Stone Throwers. They are only at one strength. It's kind of sad. And you start off with a Tribal Guardian in your first city, just so you don't get immediately wiped out, which makes sense. All right, so we, sh we can also get Nomadic Lifestyle or Language. I'm thinking Language probably be a good thing. All right, so let's go ahead. Actually, you can go straight for that Goody Hut. Actually, why don't you go there first? And look how long these l turns take. First turn of the game. It takes that long. Atapurka has become unhealthy. Yada, yada, yada. All right. So first things first. We can now adopt a native language. So as you can see, again, they changed the civics as well. It is huge. So now we have language. We can go all the way from no language to telepathy. Yeah. Telepathy. So right now we're just going to get native language. which gives us a bonus in science and uh, culture. We'll go with a nomadic lifestyle next. Language is not only the vehicle of thought. It is a great and efficient instrument in thinking. Yeah, so just FYI, they did um, make their own little quotes. Well, they didn't make their own. They're talking. That's them. The mod creators did their own little things. I'm pretty sure I'm going to skip over a lot of them because they're kind of distracting. I get native language. I just got a nomadic lifestyle. All right, now let's see the big picture here. So, gathering or cooperation, because there's childcare huts, wet nurses. So, again, decreasing uh, disease and increasing that book is education, so that's important. Wet nurses hut will help with health a lot. Uh, then we get all those bonuses. and But gathering gives us the gatherer, which is the first um, worker unit type. So, you need that to actually work any of the tiles. So, I think we're going to go for gatherer first. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just going to speak over me, I guess. 
I can go up there. Just want to see as much land. We are not near any resources. I mean, there's usually some sort of resource somewhere around you, but there's just none in this area. It's kind of weird. And they also added a ton of their new, you know, tiles and shit. Oh, no, wait. Did I? I oh, yeah, I don't have any. Wait, give me a sec. Um, We want a cooperation next. For man. I totally forgot to turn this on. I can't click it yet. Give me a second. First, examine the city. Now we can look at properties. So right now, um, disease is at 31, increasing by 9 per turn. That's bad. We also have crime, education, water pollution, and air pollution. Obviously, you want education high, and everything else basically needs to be low as possible. So why don't you now try and get more food? Yeah. Obsoletes requires no agriculture. So this all obsoletes, like, with agriculture and stuff. It's either that or we can get... Yeah, actually, get more production. That's good enough. Oh, whoa. We got two gatherers? That was quick. Whatever. All right, so she's going to go over there and gather grains. You too, I guess. No point in not doing it. Alright, you can go down there. Okay, this is what I want to do. Show me resources. So I am near figs and olives. Ooh, that's a good... Oh, I'm not going to be able to work that tile, though. Damn. going to be able to do this one, though. What does that help with? It gives me plus one in everything. Alright, that's good. It also helps with health. This helps with happiness. So actually, I do want uh, figs more. Good. Who, who doesn't like figs? If you hate figs, you're stupid. All right, and let's gather grains for plus one food. It's going to take ten whole turns to do that, and when she finishes, she will disappear. Yeah, so that's the bad part about the uh, gatherers, which is why you want to get up to... If I look at tech as soon as possible. Do, do, do. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Game. Ah, oh, damn it. I right-clicked on it. Sorry. Open that up again. We want to get all the way down to sedentary lifestyle. Look at this. This is one age. And then once we get into sedentary lifestyle, we can start getting settlers and actual workers. And finally, finally start going into the uh, ancient era. So we have like ar archers and agriculture and stuff like that. But uh, first things first... Go for first. Well, actually, let's wait till cooperation's finished. Then we can look at the big picture. Oh, we have Storm up there. And we will also be seeing a ton of animals. They added like a hundred freaking animals to this game. And now you can hunt them so you can get um, food and production for your si your closest city. It's, it's great. Actually, let's get Oral Tradition so we can get um, a new Civic. Every kind yeah, yeah, cooperation. It's very fun. Um, it's primarily based on mutual trust. So do we have child care hut? On institutions, such as courts of I don't think we do. And police. Thought we did. All right, so it also shows you, as you can see, uh, what it gives you, but also the actual, right? So what does it actually give you, right? So it doesn't give me health right now. In fact, it gives me sickness, so I don't want that right now. Um, I gotta lose money that way. And you know what? I can get Monteverde. I don't even know what that is. All right, let's get seed camps. And you, my friend, can just explore as much as possible. And there we go. The first animal we have encountered is the dreaded duck. With only one strength and three movements. It's because it flies, so it has a higher movement amount. All right, let's get oral tradition. Yeah, I just got one food in Atapuerca because of it. I can get oral tradition now. Awesome. Exactly what I wanted. It's all the way down here. With it, we can get a much higher amount of education and more signs in all cities. And faster construction of knowledge and inheritance, storyteller's hut, and creation myth. Oh, that's good. All right, so now we probably want to plan what we're going for. I think tool making, yeah. Club man. I want to get scavenging and then go there. Again, all this stuff, I just need it, but I just can't get it right now. Here, it's just not worth it. Why the people uh, go through here. Oh, hey, the ocean, and we're in... It so seems, though, we're probably near the equator if we have jungles. Alright. It's good to know. And uh, with an ocean over here, or at the very least, maybe it's a really big sea. 
I don't know. Uh, let's get probably just more food. Yeah, root tubers. It's the best thing we can get right now. Let's go over here. Oh, and look at that. We found a reef. And if you travel through that, you actually get 20. Oh, I'm the city state of Neanderthal. You actually get 20 damage on ev anything that walks through there. If your friend is already dead and being eaten by vultures. And go up there. I think it's okay to feed some bits of your friend to one of the vultures to teach him to do some tricks. But only if you're serious about adopting the vulture. Jeez. Yeah, some of these quotes are pretty funny. Okay, I'd like to point out, though, it is 46,000 BC, and we have elephants. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, but that's very good, because later in the game, we get elephant riders, which is always nice. God, we are not making any food. We really... Oh, the Beringer Crater has been discovered. Uh, let's see. What should I go for now? What should I go? Did, did I not tell them to go straight for um, tool making? Oh, I already got it. Cool. Um, go. Well, might as well check it again, actually. I'm an idiot. Cooking. Oh, yeah. Cooking helps with health. I need that. Man is a tool using animal. All right. So now Nowhere I can get the club man, which is tools. twice as strong. Tools, he is nothing. And an with anthill. Tools, is Carrion, bug catcher, berry bushes. I get the Myth of Stone, which helps with tech. How much does this tech cost? Only 19. Not that bad. Get Woodsman. Yeah, that's going to really help out since there's so much wood everywhere. All right, so get the Myth of Stone to help out just a little bit of technology. You know, getting ahead of technology in these games is always the most important. If you ever catch on fire, Do -do -do. All right, and... Uh, there's no point in getting more food because we need health. We need to de well, increase health. Captured fire. Starts a golden age. Or Montverde. Let's go for Montverde. It'll give us a nice bit of a bonus in the early age. Um, no thanks. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that for now. All right, now we get cooking. How how low in health are we? We're, ugh, we're negative five right now. That's going to hurt us. That's going to hurt us quite a bit. Oh, no, look. She finally completed that. Uh-oh. Okay, so we have our first major enemy here. The Homo Neanderthalus. How does that make any sense that we are the Neanderthals and we're getting attacked by Neanderthals? I'll really have no idea. So, long as you have food in your mouth, so you yeah. Here, let's just gather grains. There you go. Immediately. So, the Homo Neanderthalus has three strength against my tribal guardian. Now, I don't believe they can even win against me with two strength, plus he's defending, plus he's defending in a city, plus the 25% defense being a uh, being the city itself. I don't know. I think we're good. All right, so let's go see the big picture again. Where is weapons? Oh, there they are. We need soft hand. Oh, shit. I pressed right click again, didn't I? Exit that. All right, so this is what I need over here. This chopping, piercing, and scraping. I need that spiked club men. He is uh, at he's at three strength, which is basically going to be able to help me defend against the Homo Neanderthalus. I hope he doesn't attack me. Oh, he did! Wow. Yeah, that was the thing he just said. But wow, I never had them actually go ahead and slot and like try to take me down that quickly imagine if a country just fell apart because of that and oh the stone thrower died Nah, he only had one strength not that impressive all right piercing finally and once we get uh finish up mount verd then i think we're going to start building some spiked club men so then we can get, also get chopping and scraping but nah, i don't really care about that the ground stone no let's go ahead and get I don't really need culture, do I? Yeah, this is all just culture up here. Uh, ritualism. Oh, cultural identity. I do want that. Because in this game, you actually build cultures, right? Oh, yes. Finally, an increase in size. So now we can probably go for those um, figs. Awesome. And once we do, we'll get an increase in health again. Yeah, that's a quote. That is a quote. That makes sense, right? 
prehistoric dance is finished. Now, I, I'm getting all these technologies so quickly because I'm on normal, which is technically the quick mode in this mod. So, you know. Oh, folklore. Do I want folklore? Probably. Uh, actually, I can also get banditry, which helps in military unit production. And it, military units are no longer produced with food. And... Oh, I can get an increase in um, culture. Faster production of the monument. All right. Anything else? Nope. Wait, what's that at the very bottom? Oh, it's labor. But what's this? Agriculture. Oh. Yeah, I need some of that eventually. Then we have currency and labor. Cool. Ritual. All right, so now Ritual. you guys can start building... Ooh, fire pit. Or wine upon the altar. I know I said I was going to build a spiked clubman, but I just need the fire pit. And this and Mount Verde is really going to help out. It gives me a ton of money. And I get stone tools. I don't really know what that does, really. But whatever. Uh, uh, storm. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, hello. We have Rum Kabang. The Siamese. We have Siam. That's what we have. All right, cool. So now let's get the spiked club man to go out and explore. He should be somewhat safe. Oh, there's the stone thrower. He must be just up here then. It's good to know. Good to know indeed. All right, and weaving chop. No, let's go to the big picture again. So with cultural identity, that really helps out. I right clicked again. Nope, doesn't matter. Where is... There it is. Druidism. That is the first religion. However, now you cannot just research a technology and get a religion. You need to actually use a um, great prophet. So I think we're going to go down there ASAP. A nation's culture try and uh, get that prophet building up. Of its people. Research tracking. Yada, yada, yada. Persistence hunting. That would only make sense. Persistence hunting. Shouldn't you already be tracking? Make sure your prey gives up like, before you. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me, right? Whatever. No Alright, and Spike the Clubman is finished. Should I should I go for the ivory or should I One go for principle from the depths of a cave is more powerful? Yeah, yeah, Spike Clubman is cool. Well, that gives me Alright, so that's a luxury, but this gives me actual uh, health, which is what I want. Here, go down to the goody hut down there. Oh, look, salt flats. Cool. And weaving. Oh, and we have silk. Damn, this actually is a pretty good area to settle. And oh, more Homo Neanderthalus. Can make sure they don't just uh, slaughter me. Go north. Go kill the Siamese. I have basketry. All right, let's get another gatherer just so we can get that ivory. All right, you're. Oh, you discovered trapping with the uh, Goody Hut. Good, good. More technologies, the better. Meadow Rock, Meadowcroft Rock Shelter has been discovered. No idea what any of that is. All right, you you can heal up though. All right, and none of none of the animals are going to cross into my borders, which is good. First to discover Permukale. That must be somewhere near me, I guess. It only makes sense. All right, so now that we have the gatherers, let's go ahead and get. Captured fire? No, is there anything else that'll help us with health? There has to be. Berry bushes. Yep, that helps. Um, Go for the ivory. Oh, and we have a, a subdued llama. That is excellent. So now that we have a llama, um, we can build probably build a llama herd in our city, which will give us access to llamas, which might be able to make a uh, llama rider eventually, which is always nice. Uh, bathing ritual, yes, I definitely need that. And you, yeah, be a hunter so you're better against um, animals, since that's basically all you're going to be fighting. What is this? A barren hill. That's not good. Yeah, it looks like it's just barren lands, the bad lands to the south. Not a good area to be settling. In fact, I have no idea where I'm going to be settling soon. The venom Poison. The and all right, so now I can either... There's a ton of things you can do with subdued animals. You can construct a myth of certain animals, like the llama. I can make it my military standard, which would be very weird for a llama. 
I can make a herd of llamas, which increases food and production and provides me with a llama and carcasses. Or I can just eat it or um, attach it to my cultural her cultural heritage, but I'd rather just make more llamas. I always need more llamas. Remember, everyone, llamas are the most important thing in the world. But you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so the Neanderthals have begun as a civilization. We are actually better than the Siamese, but only just a little bit. Uh, hopefully our tech advantage could really, um, you know, boost us up. Uh, you, yeah, you can go down there or whatever. I don't care. And you, actually, oh, you can't get ivory, but you can build a camp. Get a lot more food, actually. There'll be more food than over there, and it'll be the same thing. Actually, I like that. Good. Go do that, then. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya 2, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.